Coach, it's time. It's early August. Your team's back on the pitch. How's it feel to start yeah, practice? It's exciting. You know, summer was uh, was nice to get a little break, but uh, I think we were itching and, and ready to go. So glad August is finally here, and um, you know we're uh, we're happy about uh, about our progress so far and where we're at. I know you're moving on to 2023, and that's going to be the bulk of this interview. What that's about, but have you had a moment to kind of take a step back, whether in the spring or the summer, and really reflect on all that this past year's team accomplished? Of course, yeah, I did uh, did a lot of reflecting, and uh, and certainly soaked every uh, every moment I could in on on last year's accomplishments. So, it was a tremendous year, and uh, something that we'll uh, we'll never forget. What are some things you hope this team carries over from a year ago? I think um, probably just the, the belief, um, kind of the, the mentality, the, the winning mentality, um, the confidence, um, and just the, uh, you know, just knowing that, uh, that, that, that we're a good team and that uh, going into games expecting to win. You had a lot of matches in the spring uh, to get used to life without some of the outstanding seniors we saw a year ago. How'd that go for your team? Yeah, it went well. Unfortunately, uh, our spring was a, a little bit, uh, I don't know, a little bit choppy in terms of um, you know, some of the opponents canceled on us late in the spring, so I think we only got three games, three of the five games in. So unfortunately, we didn't uh, didn't get enough games in to, uh, as much as I would have liked, at least. But uh, but still, we, we we know who we are. Um, you know, we've got uh, you know, I guess the kind of the spine of our team returning. We've got uh, both center backs, uh, both center mids, a forward. Uh, as well as Scorka as a, as a right mid and, and uh, you know, a lot of players that, that came in off the bench and helped. So got uh, some good players returning and um, obviously, as you know, we, we had some good ones leaving. Who were some of the leaders on this team? Um, you know, I would say the, the upperclassmen, you know, Sasha is a center back. Um, you know, she's going to be a captain as well as Felicia Knox, uh, as well as Bella Scaturo. So we've actually got two players um, that were regular starters uh, two years ago that did not get to play last year. Bella Scaturo and Tana Sanchez that were both injured and, and redshirted, uh, but it's nice to have them back. And so even though they weren't starters last year, they are used to starting games, and so I think that'll help. But um, you know, the, the upperclassmen uh, will all be uh, be called upon to, to be leaders on this group. Looking at Felicia Knox last season, led the NCAA and assists, set all kinds of Alabama records. Just what makes her so good setting up her teammates, especially on set pieces? Yeah, you know, Felicia is a, a good soccer player. She just gets the game, and uh, we saw that at a, at a very early age uh, in the recruiting process. We could see that she was a, a special player, and um, you know, didn't take uh, long for the the rest of the world to see that as well. So, uh, but Felicia is, uh, you know, good on the ball. She's good at uh, she's got great vision and, and and great technique, great service, um, set pieces, as you mentioned. Um, you know, she delivers a good ball, and, and thankfully for for uh, Felicia and the rest of the team, we've got good players to get on the end of that. Absolutely, and then uh, some one big change that's going to come this year is at the goalkeeper position. We've been so used to seeing McKinley Crone. Uh, what does the competition look like for playing time there? Yeah, we've got uh, several good options, and um, you know McKinley. You know, I think what what uh, what was best about McKinley is well, you know, first of all, you know her age and maturity. You know, I think she was a sixth year senior, and uh, um, you know, so she had a, a ton of experience, a, a ton of composure and goal. Um, and now for us, you know, finding, uh, finding her replacement, um, you know, obviously not easy, but uh, thankfully for us, we do have four capable goalies um, that, uh, that we're going to, you know, be, be training all spring and, and uh, you know, given a chance, and we'll see who, uh, who wins that. You told us at this time last year that the non-conference schedule would prepare you for SEC play. Certainly that was the case. Uh, how about this year? A lot of big names on this on the schedule for this yeah, year. Yeah, I think so. I think we got a, a great balance of, of games um, and, uh, you know, probably the, the marquee one being the, the North Carolina game, although we don't want to look too far ahead because we've got some very tough opponents before that. But, uh, but you know, being the, the Texas football weekend and, and combine that with the North Carolina soccer weekend should be a heck of a weekend in Tuscaloosa. Um, but uh, in addition to that, you know, you've got uh, Memphis, who is, is a you know traditional you know powerhouse, um, uh, and uh, you know they'll be uh, they'll be a tough opponent. Um, you know, Samford's always a, a tough game; they always play as tough. So, you know, we've got uh, a number of good good opponents that are, are going to prepare us for conference play. Wes, we're excited to see your team. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Roll awesome. tight. Thanks, Roger. Roll tight.